Hello everyone, it's me, Denim. Welcome back to another episode. I'm here in the nether and we are going to go home. Um, this is my loot, <laughs> as you can see. I've been busy. I've, yeah, I've enjoyed my time in the nether. Um, I brought a second electric jetpack and once that one ran out, I, I didn't really have um, a lot of inventory space. Well, exactly four pieces of glowstone I can, I can store. Um, I burned through my silk touch pick, as you can see, hardly did any damage to my efficiency for unbreaking 3-1. Um, so what we are going to do is store this and we're going to get a new chest, double chest, for all of our nether material materials. I think um, we, have en we have enough now to... Oh, here's Lehman. Uh, we have enough now to finally, um, well, get a separate chest for that, I think. Uh, anyway, what are we going to work on today? I have no clue, to be honest. Uh, last time, we worked on nothing. We did absolutely nothing. So this time, I really want to make it a bit of a productive episode. Um, I'm tempted to install my routers, finally. Uh, last time, we've already made some of the upgrades, and I've talked to Cupstep. And he's been so kind to prepare me a book. Um, this is what I need for four routers. So let me show you. I need four speed upgrades, uh, two thoroughness upgrades. We already have those. Two ejector and four machine filter upgrades. So let's go check it out. Uh, router. Machine upgrade. Oh, these ejectors. Okay, we can make those, and then machine upgrade, machine filter, I think that's what it means. These are a bit harder to make. Uh, logic matrix programmer, don't even know how you make this, to be honest. It doesn't, it's not even listed. Oh well, um, I'll look it up how to make everything. I'll make all the items, and the first thing we are going to do is install this, because it's needed. Um, this one already works. Uh, perfectly, but we oh, but we also need this one, for example. We need two routers over here, and then we need two routers right over here. I've already um, moved my glass fiber cable setup, as you may, as you can see. Um, so over there are the transformers, and they come out over here. So that's the LV transformer for our induction furnace. This really works well. Um, it, it works awesome. It's so fast. Let me just get four stacks of potatoes, let's say, and we'll put those in here. Uh, this is how fast it extracts. So that's really, that's pretty fast in my opinion. Uh, and then it ends up in here. So this needs to go to the router, right, which we're going to place right over here on this block. One up. Um, and yeah, this is how fast they cook. <laughs> so it cooks about every time a potato enters one leaves. Uh, so that's really fast, that's really good. Uh, I'm happy with that. We'll, we'll get the four stacks in a minute. Um, for the rest, let's check up on our villager actually, because yeah, he's still alive, that's good. We've got a new one. Uh, last episode, I um, asked around to people and... and uh, well, whether it was cheating or not to keep him, um, I'll still ask around and then we'll take a decision in an episode or two, I think. Um, but we are going to get started on making those routers. I'm, I'm not really going, well, I'm not tempted to show it all on camera um, because it might be a little bit boring. We might make the, these ones, the, no, no, sorry, the machine ones on camera because this I don't have a crystallizer, we'll need to find one, and I don't know how to make this logic mat matrix programmer, so I'll have to find that. Oh! Wait, what? So, a logic matrix programmer needs a logic mat matrix programmer plus this. That's weird. Anyway, I'm going to look everything up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think we are ready to make um, our ejector upgrade. So this is the ejector upgrade. I've gathered all of the items um, off camera. I've also made a few more dark 
in uh, dark iron ingots. I traded them with the admins because the the igniter is banned. So I traded a few of the diamond shards and, and all that stuff I needed um, with an admin to get those. Uh, let's put these together. So we need this. We need that. Uh, I think we need an oak plank. Yep. And then these in the corners. And that will give us the ejector upgrade. Awesome. So one step closer to upgrading our routers. Um, the last thing we'll need are those machine filter upgrades. Okay, uh, I'm going to try and get everything. I think I, I'm going to look into making this first. Okay guys, I'm here at Tom's place and we're using uh, his masturbator setup to get some more iron and some more lead. Uh, I think I've gathered everything to make these machine filters and I figured everything out. Um, so you need a logic matrix programmer to make another one and I already have found... Oh, I didn't bring it. Of course I didn't bring it. <laughs> uh, one second, I will go back to my home. Oh, this book. Um, I already had one here. I already found one in a dungeon before. Um, so we can use that to make a new one. We'll need some items though. Tom's was this one. Yes. Yep. Um, and we are going to craft those over here. And we'll take out the iron and the lead. First thing we need for this, uh, for this logic matrix programmer, is this logic matrix, in fact. And we're, we are going to need um, eight of those. Mm, yeah, four for the logic matrix programmer, and then four for the um, for the machine filters, I think. Lo lo logic matrix identifier. Yeah, four for the programmers and then four to craft the identifiers. And you need Inverium drops for that with water and stone, smooth stone. So we're going to make those Inverium drops. Um, they're pretty easy to make. The thing you have to do is surround a diamond. Four. Okay. With uh, gold. And then you put lead on the sides. Uh, now, as you can see, you will not be able to make those because these lead ingots, they're not the same as these and you need the ones with 9270. Um, the way you can get these, by the way, is if you just put in lead in a crafting table. Wow, laggy. Okay, let's do one more. Good. Um, and you recraft it, so you, you take these back out and you get the right lit ingots. So let's make the recipe again. Like that. And the lead goes in the corners. And that's the way you make these Inverium drops. Good, we'll need four of those. Um, then, wow, this is doing its job pretty well. <laughs> We're getting a lot of stacks of iron and we'll we'll just, I think uh, Tom had a bit left of his stack, we'll just leave that. Um, what happened to all the lead though? Did I take some of it out already? Whoa, something is wrong with my frame rate. I think I'm going to have to restart my game. Um, we'll take all of this out. He didn't have any lead. And we'll, we'll keep the iron for now. So we have these Inferium drops. Um, now what we need to do is find a crystallizer. We are going back to Tom's place, guys. Um, I've looked into making a crystallizer of our own because nobody seems to have one uh, set up or working at least. Oh, wow. how did he get in here? Anyway, um, I'm going to smelt some more leads because this is insane, guys. Look at this. So for the crystallizer, the crystallizer, you make it, it's pretty easy to make, to be honest. You just need a cauldron, some string, and a stick. Um, but to power it, you need one of these furnaces, the furnace heater. Um, and you need these insulated coils. An insulated coil is made by nine, uh, uh, eight lead ingots and a clay block. You need six of these, and then two more, even. Um, yeah, we need to make one of those. So, luckily, I have hoarded lead like a madman. 
and we can maybe hopefully make one um, now I'll need to make blocks of these and convert those back because they are these are not the accepted type of lead it needs um, the mods a little bit shady in my opinion it's it's not documented in game there is a wiki it's pretty clear but it would be better if it if it was documented in game a little bit more at least the recipes um, that would be awesome anyway I'm just going to make these uh, and then hopefully our crystallizer will work okay we are ready let's go back to the ba whoa okay to the base um, and let's find our clay that's what we need and I've converted all of my lead into these well into this type of lead which is a little bit better I don't know how much I will need of this um, let's check the recipe one more time I need six of these um, okay so one two three four five six <laughs> for one so I'll need a little bit more uh, actually no okay six of those and we'll put these like that with two lead ingots on the side awesome furnace heater uh, and now we can set this up I think I've got my um, crystallizer over here let's just place it underneath it to be sure I don't know if it has to be well if it has to go underneath. I do not know what to do with this as well. So let's just try putting our items in, I guess. Stone um, and the water bottle. I have no clue how this works. I'll need to figure that out. Let's try putting it next to it, maybe. I don't know if that'll make a difference. I figured out how you power this. Uh, you need one of these battery blocks. Uh, so we are going to make one of those. Um, I do not know how you power the battery block though. So uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what happens, I guess. We need one of these sulfuric acid bottles. Um, and we need to cover that with lead again. This, this mod takes up a lot of lead. Um, again, and some iron ingots like so and now it's a hundred percent charged now I don't know it'll probably go down and then it'll decharge or something yeah but I don't know how to refill this probably it'll probably disappear maybe anyway this is starting to glow um, we are ready I think to start making our thingies <laughs> okay so once you have the recipe this will start to heat okay and this is the level of the battery, I guess. Um, we'll see what happens if the re recipe comes in the in the middle or something. No. What the hell? Um, let's see. We need the router, machine filter upgrade, logic matrix. Yeah, this is the recipe. Um, ah, okay, it takes a, wow, it takes a long while. Okay, so I'm going to make these machine filters. Um, I'm going to make those logic matrix programmers then. Do I still have dark iron ingots? Let's see. Yeah, 24. Ooh, we might just not have enough, like just a little bit. Um, but I'll make everything and then we'll, we'll finally install our routers. This mod, it's it's not as well documented as I would like it to be, or as the rest of the mods. It definitely still needs a little bit of work, but it is pretty cool. You can power furnaces with this as well, um, regular furnaces, and it'll power those instead of coal and all that. Um, it is pretty cool in my opinion. Too bad it'll it'll take a whole while um, for this to make though. Anyway, um, what do you think of the sound quality? I'm using a different method at the moment, 
and Im you don't hear the fan noise as much. So tell me what you think in the comments. I hope the com the comments will be positive. Um, I like it at least. It's a little bit more of a hassle to set up everything and to uh, well to 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 manage the recording and all that. But yeah, it's definitely worth it. I think. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Anyway, I'll I'll make these. I'll uh, I'll make sure we have everything, and then we'll set up those routers finally. <laughs> While we wait for this to happen, uh, we might as well open our mail. I do not know what will happen with the battery when it when it completely drains. It might just disappear or become useful, uh, useless, <laughs> rather. Um, yeah, we'll we'll just wait for it. In the meantime, I'm going to open this letter from uh, Dragon. Some experience and a pipe to destroy unwanted items. Aha, okay, a void transport pipe. So everything that goes in here just gets destroyed and bottles of enchanting. Now, I don't know how you how he made these. I don't think you can make these actually. Um you get these because uh you get these when you first log in on the server. Uh then you get about 10 bottles of enchanting. Um so you might still have kept them. Well, thanks a lot for the uh what how many is it? 5 levels. <laughs> awesome. Um that's a cool gift. I don't really think I'm going to use the void pipe just yet. It might be good if you have a quarry and you don't want all of the excess um, cobblestone or something, and then you can hook that up. Uh, this is taking about well a good five to ten minutes. Uh, I'm going to FK for a while. Might make some more of these batteries. I would like to find out what happens with these when they are empty, though. Uh, it takes about one battery for one of these items and you can see the item that you're crafting grow in the center that is pretty neat it started off as as a little tiny item well entity and now it's uh it's getting bigger it's getting larger okay so the battery is empty i think it did not do anything it didn't disappear and this is finished as well we got two logic matrixes um, so, yeah, we didn't need the eight Inverium drops, we only needed two. Um, and the water bottle stays as well, so these are redundant as well. The only thing that um, where you need one of is the stone. So, let's just throw away these water bottles, we don't need them. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, two logic matrixes. Let's see what we can do with that, actually. So let's look up the recipe for one of these logic matrix programmers. Uh, a dark iron ingot and a logic matrix. And do we need something? No, just a, a cra shaped crafting. That means a crafting table. I will put that here. And that's how you make the logic matrix programmer. And as you can see, this one doesn't disappear. So you need to find one of these in a dungeon. Um, and then once you have... Well, we need one more of these um yeah once we have once you have one you can create more um i need one more of these and then i need four more of these logic matrixes and then we can finally finally make our router upgrades this is taking way too long <laughs> um anyway let's just yeah keep going at it what what happens if we delete this i do not know if we can recharge it we probably can Let's try and place it in a solar panel. Maybe that works. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, I'll look into it, but meh. <laughs> it just started raining again. It it really gets on my nerves. Anyway, I've been here for about an hour, uh, maybe two, just chilling, being bored, AFKing. I've been watching a movie, um, and I've done around everything I could do <laughs> in my base. Cooked. Of almost every item uh, in my cooker. Let's see if there's still any potatoes. Nope. Um, we had to make two more of these logic matrixes because I needed one more for keeps. Like, uh, we, if we ever want to make more in the future, we need to be able to. Anyway, um, I've made those, the rest of those. Now we need to make these logic matrix identifiers. Um, so we, we'll need some spider eyes. Let's go get those. One, two, three, four. If you shift left click, you'll get um, just one out of these barrels. 
Okay, so this and this logic matrix identifier. Poo! Oh wait, uh, yeah, this. <laughs> okay. Oh, we didn't need to make four. Oh my god, that's ah oh, my ah oh, that is. Okay, um, I'm going to be sending these as gifts. <laughs> Oh man, that sucks. You get these back. That is... You see, the, the mod is so badly documented. It's unreal. Ah, hating it. Anyway, uh, we finally have our logic matrix identifiers. God, that's, that just sucks. That just takes the fun all out of it. Uh, and now we can make these machine filters. I'm quickly going to do that. And then we are going to finally be able to install those routers. Oh my god, I hate this mod. I like the functionality, I like the barrels. I just hate the way it's documented. <laughs> okay, so let's craft these. Um, I took a bit of a break <laughs> because that was ridiculous. You get this thing back, so don't make four <laughs> as I did. Uh, anyway, finally Machine filters. Phew. Okay, so now we have everything. We have four speed ones, two thoroughness, four ejectors, and four machine upgrades. Um, okay. Oh, I only needed two ejectors and two thoroughness. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Those were a pain to make, unlike these. Anyway, um, going to install the routers now. Okay. So. Let's take all of these um, and we'll place a router here and one here right next to it. So I think this one needs the speed boost for sure. Let's just put these in. Um, the speed boost, they all need the speed boost to be honest. So like that. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know which one needs what, so this one. Um, press delete to remove these upgrades. That's probably the machine filter. Yeah, that's the machine filter. And that has thoroughness as well. So this one has one of all, I think. Um, I think. Except thoroughness. Oh my god, I'm so lost with this. Speed boost, thoroughness. Okay, so the thoroughness one goes in here for sure. Um, and then I guess it takes... Yeah, it, it needs one of everything. And then this one only needs speed and these two. Okay. Now, um, we want this one to insert it into the top side. So that's good, I guess. And you want it inserted in barrels with the speed boost and thoroughness. Okay, uh, and then this one, you want it to extract from the top sides of the chest and eject it to the west. I think it was west, wasn't it? East? East. Yeah, that should have worked. I think that works. Awesome, yeah, we have nine of those. Okay, so let's set up the last, well, the final two. One here, one here. All of the upgrades, put in all the upgrades. <laughs> like that, like that, like that. You want this one to insert it in the barrels. So insert into the top sides of the barrel with a speed boost and thoroughness, okay. And you want this one to extract it from a top side of a, a chest which we still need to place and eject to the south. What direction is this? North. North. Okay, and I'll get a chest and we'll see if this works as well. Phew! That's really too much work for what it is, to be honest. Um, 
Let's see if it works. Uh, let's get some... Do we still have potatoes in here? No. Uh, let's get some then. So, we've got cooked potatoes. Um, we'll put those in here. Is it working? No. So this one should extract from the top sides of... Oh, chest. Okay. That's working. It's going into this one. Is it? No, it's just taking it out and inserting it again. So, we need to extract it from a chest and uh, insert it into the north one. Then it'll go... No. Uh, <laughs> eject to top. We want this one to ex extract and then eject it to the north, I guess. And this one should insert it. Um, into the top sides of near barrels. It should work. Or I totally set this up wrong. Let's try south. Okay, now it's doing this. That's good. Um, and I think it's working. Is it? It's working. Awesome. Awesome. Whew. Okay, I've learned a lot about these things. Um, this is a mess. <laughs> Did I give it the speed one? I gave it everything, right? Yeah, speed booster on this. Yeah, it's a bit slow at the moment though. Maybe there's a bit of lag on the server, could be. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, I'm seriously tired. It is getting late. Um, yeah, <laughs> do not really feel like playing anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Tell me what you think about the new sound quality. Tell me how it sounds um, in speakers, in headsets, in everything. Uh, give me some comments about it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.